Yes, so we are uh, Wednesday, the 15th of March, day 17 of my uh, daily documentation. And I am really excited because yesterday I uh, listened again to uh, my selection of tracks I've made. 90, it was too much, so I said I have to maybe divide them into uh, some subfolders. And then uh, yesterday and two days ago, so I listened a lot to the music I've made. And I realized I clearly have, like, uh, I could divide it in clearly four folders, four styles, with, I said, with each max 12 uh, tracks, because I want to make an album of 12, uh, 12 tracks. And all the rest I could divide in a folder, not for now. And then in those four uh, folders, I've said that I'm going to make a folder, a subfolder also with the tracks that are done, so that I know what they want to be and I don't have a lot of work on it. So they have a structure, they sound good. So then I made, I've put some tracks in done and I realized <laughs> I have like plus minus 20 tracks that could fit the album and that are in the same style and are telling the story that I want. So they are starting from 125 BPM up uh, until 170 BPM, but in the same style. And I like the way how it sounds. Um, whether if it's good or not, I'm not trying to judge that, uh, but I'm really pleased with the result and I'm actually amazed how the Last 10, 15 tracks I've uh, quickly made are really a level I never reached before. So I'm really stoked about that. Um, another positive thing is now that I have, uh, I know what my style is and I'm really pleased with it. <laughs> so immediately when I knew I'm one month before the uh, release day, so I'm going to pull this off. Immediately it's freed up some space in my mind. It uh, seems to be like this. And I was thinking about how I could fit this in a story, how I could uh, present it to the people uh, online or not. But I decided as I, I don't want to do it just regularly online with uh, is a new album and blah 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 because it's going to be consumed like fast food again so I want to do something special and I exactly know what I'm going to do I've already contacted a few people but I've been I'm not going to tell what this is going to be because it's a personal cool thing that I don't want to uh, ruin it has to be a secret but it's going to be something really cool. <laughs> um, and so the story fits with the music I'm telling, the music I'm hearing. I think the style I've came up is the result of writing a lot about the music and it goes hand in hand. So all my notes, everything I've written down, fits with the style I've, I'm making. The things I've been making from art, uh, like artwork, is fitting into the story also. And one of my artwork is, I've made already the cover of the album. Okay, it's possible that it's going to change over time, but... So that I have also already... Uh, so now the next step is... There's still a lot of work to do, but I know I can pull it off. Uh, like, the most easy way you could do it is, okay, you choose one track and you make variations on it and then it sounds exactly the same. But that's uh, not how music really works for me. I use the same elements and then I make something without, uh, um, 
I, I've noticed when I'm making music, I'm not thinking at all. It just flows out the moment I feel, I think. I have no idea how it works, but it's the way I operate, I think. And it has to be uh, surprising, so like, it are all different tracks. You can hear it's the same style, but it's not like it's uh, like hard style. It's like a unique style, more like Aphex Twin or when you listen to uh, Dr. Dre, Still Dre, they are not copy-paste the tracks, but they fit into a story and that's what I was after, I think. But I have to uh, uh, stay focused and keep my planning, uh, keep doing the planning because there's still a lot of work to do to... Uh, I, if, no idea how I'm going to master everything so it sounds the same, but that's another problem. First thing to do now is for the last time, so I'm going to select all the tracks and make one folder uh, with those 20 tracks that are in the DOM folders. Sort them by BPM. And today, uh, I'm going to have a final listen. Yeah, I'm going to have a final listen. Put them in Don in my Don folder in Trello, and then decide uh, how I can work on them in a few days. We are Wednesday to do, and by Friday I want to have the. Uh, I want to have really completed the album, the first version. So then I'm not going to listen to it for at least one week. So only Monday, the 27th of March, then I can listen back to it. So then I have still three little three weeks left to listen it into on my headphones in the car on different sound stations and then i have time left to make some minor adjustments uh, because i really want uh, i have made the mistake over and over again to listen too much to the music before releasing it and then uh, you start to think it's good but actually you're, uh, it's an illusion because you put it on repeat and you listen too much to it. So, it's for the third day now I'm going to listen to these tracks uh, only once. I, I don't put it on repeat, but I, so I have it two listening sessions. Today, uh, the third one and last one, because I want to have like a structure already, and then leave them... Uh, no, I'm going to listen to them. The ones I know, they are released ready. I'm already going to put them into release and not listen to them again. Even if I know maybe there is a small adjustment I need to do, like some mastering, small mixing stuff. But I know the tracks could be released as the way they are. And that should save me time, so I hope, there, I think, maybe there are 8 tracks already, 6 to 8 tracks that I can put in release. So that I have like max 12 tracks left to work on in 2-3 days. With 1 hour a day, and that should be possible if I do a small 5 to 10 minute micro fast sessions. So, I'm really happy about the progress I've made. I hope I'm not uh, totally wrong and it's, it's total crap, but I don't think so. <laughs> so, enough work to do. See you on next video.